Who's the most annoying person on the tour bus? Well, we don't, we don't have a tour bus, so that makes things less annoying because we fly everywhere. Oh, Lars can be annoying because he takes the food off your plate. <laughs> if you have something that looks interesting to him, he doesn't ask, he goes, you know? <laughs> so Lars can be the food thief sometimes. Som ett av planetens allra största band med en banebrytande karriär har Metallica alltid sett framöver och varit nyskapande. Nu ser de däremot inte bort ifrån att de vill vända tillbaka till sina barndomshelte Led Zeppelin och spela in materiale sammen med dem. You know, if Jimmy Page wanted to get up and jam with us, we would absolutely bust out a Zeppelin song. We love Zeppelin, so it is very very possible and you know, I wouldn't hold your don't hold your breath too long because it just might happen. Selv om gutta begynner å dra på årene, ser det ut til at de fremdeles er like kompromissløse som de alltid har vært, og går ikke tom for låtmateriale med det første. Honestly, uh, maybe we're a bit selfish. I think we make music to please us. Metallica pretty much does what Metallica wants to do. People will get angry and they'll step aside for a minute, but they always come back, you know, or they show up at the shows and they're into it. And uh, it just so happens on Death Magnetic, that we reconnected with the thrashy elements of the band which hadn't been done in a very long time. We had so many riffs. It's like you got to understand when someone like James Hetfield even turns a knob on his amp, there's a riff, you know. Och definitionen av vad som är god musik kan enkelt uppsummeras slik. If you rock your head to it and uh, to me that's that's what it's all about, you know. Tidigare har Metallica varit känd för att vara en av de största motståndarna av piratkopierad musik och olaglig nedlastning. Och likväl går inte Robert av vägen för att reklamera för ett akustiskt album som är gitt ut olagligt. We we did actually an unplugged thing. Um it was recorded. We didn't put it out ourselves, but it came out. I mean, I was in France and I saw the vinyl. I was wow, cool. <laughs> and it was so awesome. It was great. It was really cool. We played an acoustic version of Disposable Heroes and All Within My Hands and, uh, and uh, of course Nothing Else Matters and there were some other songs that we played um, that no one would have imagined Metallica covering, you know, because they weren't really metal songs. So if anybody's interested, it was Bridge School uh, two years ago, I think in 2007, by the bootleg. <laughs>